Hi there, in today's video we are going to talk about the Boeing 737 takeoff configuration warning. You will know what is this system, okay, this warning, why is there, when it actually activated and what is the differences between the takeoff configuration warning and the cabin altitude warning. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. V1, rotate. Hi there, I'm Gabriele from PilotClimb.com. I help you to become a better pilot. So if this is what you want to do, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you want to book your private pilot training session with me, go to PilotClimb.com where you can book in there. Regardless if you are a student pilot or a simmer that flies your own home uh, flight simulator. So too much talking, let's, let's talk about this takeoff configuration warning, what it is. So first of all, the takeoff configuration warning, as it says, okay, is a warning that uh, activates if the aircraft is not configured for takeoff, okay? It is activated and armed when the aircraft is on the ground, and if there is any problem that will compromise your safety throughout your takeoff, this warning will activate, okay? How does the takeoff configuration warning on the Boeing 737 actually uh, warns you, okay? This takeoff configuration warning has got a warning horn sound that does like that. <laughs> So as we said, this takeoff configuration warning will activate any time there is a problem on the takeoff configuration of the plane. In a second, we, are, we will actually talk about what are these uh, settings that has to be in a takeoff range in order to make sure that the takeoff configuration doesn't actually activate, okay? Before taxi, okay, before taxi normally on the Boeing 737, we check the takeoff configuration warning. Just before taxi, your aircraft should be set and should be ready for takeoff as well. The configuration of the aircraft in a normal day should be on the configured for takeoff. So before taxi, we actually check the takeoff configuration. And the takeoff configuration warning will actually sound anytime you advance the thrust levers, okay, and the aircraft is not configured for takeoff. So what we do after we have done our procedure, just uh, before taxi, okay, after we have done our procedures, after that we have performed our checklist and make sure that the aircraft is actually configured for takeoff, what we do, we advance the thrust lever momentarily and then we close them up. If the aircraft is fully configured for takeoff and all the parameters are within the takeoff range, there should be no takeoff warning, okay? If there is any problem, then when you do this check, you actually uh, you will see that the takeoff configuration warning or will sound okay so but when actually what are these uh, configuration that will make the takeoff configuration warning to sound okay so first of all the takeoff configuration warning will sound if you have the trailing edge flap are not within the takeoff range okay in the Boeing 737 the trailing edge flaps are within the uh, takeoff range if they are between flap 1 and flap 25 so let's say you forget to extend the flap, what will happen is that when you advance the thrust lever for takeoff, the takeoff configuration warning will sound, will you hear the, 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 the sound of ma 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 that is actually uh, something that is warning you that something is wrong with the plane, okay? The takeoff configuration warning will sound even if during your taxi, your trailing edge flap will do an uh, uncommanded motion or there will be, you're gonna have, if you have a, a trailing edge flap asymmetry or skew, if there is any problem with the flaps because it might happen that you set the flaps for takeoff during your taxi, okay, fantastic, you have done your checklist, everything is great, but then while you're taxiing, one of the two flaps, okay, that you go on, on the right wing, let's say, will, will extend a little bit more. In that case, you have the flap, you don't have the flap setting for takeoff. In that case, what will happen is that once you line up, you advance the thrust, takeoff. that takeoff configuration one will actually warn you that something is wrong in there. Okay, so guys, trailing edge flaps that are only takeoff position, leading edge flaps that are not in the takeoff range, the stabilizer trim that is not in the takeoff range. The takeoff range of the stabilizer trim is the green band just next to the trim wheel, okay? The takeoff configuration one will sound if the parking brake is set, okay? That's why we don't usually set the parking brake once line up for takeoff. And it will sound during the takeoff if the speed brake are not down, 
and if the spoiler control valve is in the open position. Okay, guys, so these are all the items that will make the takeoff configuration warning to sound. Okay, basically what it is, it's a system that allow, that uh, warns you if there is any problem on the, on the aircraft configuration for takeoff. Okay, I, I'm sure you talk, you heard about the Spanair accident in Madrid uh, uh, around 10 years ago. Okay, that was exactly the problem because they didn't have the takeoff configuration warning on that flight and the aircraft was not configured for takeoff. Okay, so what we normally do, again, before taxi, we check that the config take off configuration warning and then during the, just when you are taking off, you are advancing the take off thrust for, for take off, okay, so you are advanc advancing the thrust levers, you will check again the take off configuration because if there is any problem, when you are uh, doing your take off roll, you're going to have this uh, take off configuration uh, or warning or with sound, okay. Now we've got a small problem in here because the takeoff configuration warning horn and the cabin altitude warning horn are exactly the same. Okay, the only difference between these two are the lights and the fact that one will sound on the ground and the other one will sound on the air if there is if something is wrong. Okay, the cabin altitude warning horn will sound in flight if the cabin altitude exceeds 10,000 feet and it's exactly the same horn. So you need to keep a good situation awareness because I can tell you that happened in the past that the pilot had during the flight this warning horn, okay, and they thought it was the takeoff configuration and it was not the cabin altitude, okay. So a good way to mitigate this problem is that once you are in the air, if you have this uh, config warning on the same noise, bah, 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 that means that you have a proper situation problems, okay. And the first thing that you should do is to put the oxygen mask on, okay. So Whenever you have this takeoff configuration, this cabin altitude uh, warning horn, okay, on top of that you've got two lights, okay, so one light will illuminate if that is uh, applicable to the takeoff and the other light will illuminate if the warning horn, this sound is applicable to the cabin altitude. But normally, as a part of you should have clear in your mind that if this warning will sound on the ground, it's because of the takeoff. If it sounds on the air, it's because of uh, the cabin altitude problem, okay? So guys, I hope now you understand a little bit better what is this takeoff configuration warning, and now you know when to check and what are the systems that actually will trick this warning. If you have any question, leave a comment below and then I will help you out. Also go to pilotcline.com where you can subscribe for free pilot training content. I wish you a great day and I'll see you in the next one.